Hello, welcome to the new moon cycle um, on the drum course for 2013 to 14. And this is the video material to just talk you through the contents of this particular moon cycle. The first piece is always to journey, a uh, journey to the spirit of the moon, to the moon goddess or god and journey to the spirit of the tree of the cycle as well. In this journey you plant a seed for the moon cycle which holds the vision of what you're ready to manifest. This vision will be given to you by your own intuition or from the, the god or goddess and the tree. The idea is that through the moon cycle the conditions that allow the flourishing of the dream grow towards the full moon. After the full moon, there's traditionally a period of letting go and release um, of anything that's blocking your, your vision from coming into manifestation. The three different parts of each moon cycle are covered by the tree, the theatre, journeying piece, and a tasking. The tree is the you. The you is the tree which is the guardian of death. It's a uh, a tree which goes back beyond um, the last ice age and the yew tree can live for thousands of years, so more than a thousand years. So it's a very ancient and wise tree. It sees so much, it holds so much. It's a tree that holds the gateway between the different worlds. Um, the tree is traditionally planted at at graveyard sites and also at sacred sites. It was a tree that the leaders of ancient tribes would be planted by and the idea was that the tree took on all the wisdom and the understanding and the knowledge of the great leaders and then this was transmitted um, through to the to the tribe after their death as well. Um, it's got really um, poignant medicine in helping us to um, move beyond our fear of death. So the material of this moon cycle deals specifically with helping you to um, step into a place of power um, and fearlessness around the subject of death. If we are held um, with, to or tied to our fears of losing things, then that can stop the energy from flowing in the direction that our life force wants to move in and it can block us from taking um, courageous and important steps. So the medicine of this moon cycle is tremendous. The taskings which um, you'll be working with um, help you to create a timeline of all the different deaths that you've experienced in your life, whether this be the death of a person, the death of a role that you've played, the death of a relationship, the death of a relationship to place, um, the death of um, a relationship to community and just moving through the whole of your life just registering the deaths that have happened and then you'll be making cards of these different deaths and offering them to a fire in a fire ceremony and this needs to take place in the, in the last few days of the moon cycle in giving your cards to the fire, you're not, all, all, you're not only acknowledging that, that something is complete so that you, you're helping yourself to not be held back, um, you're also acknowledging by putting that into the fire that that, that life force that is there um, still flows so it can do two things. It can help you to move on but equally it can help you to reconnect with any of your, your soul, um, your life force that you might have blocked um, if there's been grief around certain endings. The theatre piece is um, a piece of work where you journey with your guide and ask your guide to mimic you um, and show you how you relate to death and this can uncover really important information for you. Once something is in, aware, um, in your awareness then you can begin to, um, to change um, and uh, adjust yourself and also understand yourself better. It also gives you the opportunity to meet in the theatre different people who have died and, and if there's any healing work or completion um, that you could benefit from then this is the moon cycle where you can do that. I wish you a really beautiful and successful and healing time in this moon cycle um, and I'm sure that so many blessings will come. Thank you.